Hello, and welcome to the Dragonfly Plastic Planter Craft. Before we get started, I wanted to go over a few materials you're going to need in order to do this craft. Starting with a plastic water bottle, a tea light candle and a lighter, acrylic paint or markers depending on how you want to decorate your dragonfly, fuzzy palms of different colors, fuzzy pipe cleaners in case you want to add legs to your dragonfly, and any type of adhesive but a hot glue gun will work best for this project. And of course, googly eyes. Start by cutting the dragonfly abdomen out of the water bottle using scissors. Cut the water bottle vertically up and around the top. Next, you are going to cut the bottom of the water bottle. You will not be needing this bottom piece. What we want are the middle parts of the bottle. Once you have the middle part, cut it in half along the middle. You will then have two vertical pieces. From these pieces are where we are going to cut out the dragonfly wings as well as the abdomen. Take one of the two plastic pieces you just cut out and cut it in half making two horizontal pieces as shown here. One of these pieces will be the dragonfly abdomen. You will have a few extra pieces for more dragonflies. Next, you are going to light your tea light candle. You will use the tea light candle to melt the plastic into a dragonfly abdomen shape. Hold the plastic approximately three inches above the flame. Do not put the plastic directly into the flame. You will only need a little bit of heat. Your plastic piece should curl within itself. I used my scissors to hold the plastic over the flame. Please be careful while doing this step. Keep hovering the plastic over the flame until you reach your desired shape. Next, pick out two palms, whichever color you would like. This will be the thorax of the dragonfly. I decided to use two black palms for this step. You can use any adhesive to do this next step, but a hot glue gun works best. You will be gluing the palms onto the end of the plastic piece we just shaped. Carefully place the palm on one end of the dragonfly abdomen. We have now formed the thorax and the abdomen of our dragonfly. Now we are moving on to the dragonfly wings. Take the other half of the plastic piece we cut earlier and cut this piece again vertically. Shape the wings using the scissors to your desired shape. Using the candle, now shape the dragonfly wings. If you find that the dragonfly wings are a little bit too thick for your dragonfly, you can cut them in half vertically to make them a little bit thinner. The wings might crinkle up with the heat. This is okay. Using caution, gently pull the plastic piece apart.
You want a crinkly look to your wings. You are now ready to glue the wings on. Carefully glue the wings along the dragonfly's thorax. Our dragonfly is now beginning to take shape. We have an abdomen, a thorax, and a pair of wings. Next, pick two more palms of any color you would like and glue them onto the thorax. This will become the head of the dragonfly. Dragonflies come in all sorts of colors. For this part, I decided to go with two blue palms for my dragonfly. But you, of course, can choose any color you would like. Once you picked out the colors you would like for your dragonfly, carefully glue it on. I decided to go with two palms, but you can put as many or as little palms as you would like. This is up to you, it is your dragonfly. It is now time to paint and decorate your dragonflies whichever colors you would like. So for these dragonflies, I got a head start and painted their wings. It is up to you what color wings you want to paint your dragonfly. Acrylic paint works great for painting wings, but if you do not have any acrylic paint, markers will work just as well for decorating your dragonfly. For the abdomen of the dragonfly, on this one I used a metallic colored sharpie. For the other dragonfly, I decided to use a blue metallic sharpie to color the abdomen. You can decide to decorate your dragonfly however way you would like, whether that be with markers or paint. It is completely up to you. For this dragonfly, I decided to paint the abdomen a greenish color. Now that we finished decorating our dragonfly, it is time to glue on its eyes. Last but not least, glue on a stick to the bottom of the dragonfly's thorax. This can be a chopstick or a twig you find outside. This will be the part that helps the dragonfly stick out of the planter. And there you have it, your dragonfly planter. Thank you for joining me in making this craft. Be sure to post photos of your plastic planters onto the How to Train Your Dragonfly Facebook event page. Happy crafting!